A sunken city was discovered in 1984, and it changed history. There are many people who love to go diving and explore what's on the seafloor. In 1984, a guy was diving off of Israel's coast when he discovered sunken remains that changed history. The man was Dr. Enud Galili, who was a marine archaeologist. Although the waters of the Levantine Sea were murky, he spotted something on the ocean floor. When he first made the discovery, he wasn't sure if he was seeing what he thought he was seeing. He thought he had found an underwater village, complete with stone building foundations, fireplaces, and wells. Everything was covered with sea life. After the day he made the discovery in 1984, he didn't stop visiting the site. He returned every year to do more exploring. He would often go during the winter, after the storms dislodged the silt. According to Dr. Galili, they only excavate in areas where they think that a city is in imminent danger of being destroyed. It was discovered that the city that he found was called Atlet Yam. It's believed that people lived in this city around the 7th millennium BC. Some believe it's even older than that. The city is around 43,000 square feet, and it's said to be the largest and oldest underwater city ever discovered. This discovery has huge historical importance. It holds the answers to all of the questions that people have about what life was like in Levant when it was still standing. Dr. Galili's team made many discoveries and noted them. The stone houses that these people lived in were luxurious. They had internal courtyards with paved floors. There were numerous wells, so the people of the city had their own water supply. They also had a sewage system. The most astounding discovery was the human remains. They found 65 skeletons in the ruins of the city. They had gone untouched for centuries. This was a huge discovery because it gave the doctor and his team a lot of information about how people lived back then. In 2008, a pair of skeletons were discovered in the sunken city. It was a mother and child. After the autopsy, it was found that they had died of tuberculosis. Theirs were the first signs of the infection. When they found a set of male skeletons, the scientists found that they had signs of ear infections and that told them that the men likely dove for the fruits of the sea in the cold water. The researchers didn't find just human remains either. There were animals as well. They found bones from dogs, cows, pigs, sheep, and goats. This showed the people of the city kept domesticated animals. What's even more impressive is that the people of the city grew crops. They grew wheat, barley, flax, and lentil. And that showed the scientists they had a very advanced infrastructure. The discovery of this town was one of the most amazing discoveries in human history. The town told the story of when people went from being hunters and gatherers to the builders of urban settlements. When they learned to make tools and learned to farm, things began to change. Another interesting discovery was the seven stones that were arranged in a circle. The scientists believe that one of the stones had fallen within the city, but the rest were there for thousands of years. They believed that these were the site of ancient rituals. In the stones were engraved cup marks. There was a freshwater spring in the center. They believed that the people of the town used these rocks to worship water or to honor the spring. Although the scientists learned a lot from this discovery, they still have plenty of questions. They don't know why the settlement was destroyed and if some of the occupants abandoned it. They also found thousands of fish bones at the site and they don't know how they got there. They have some evidence and they have a theory. They believe that at some point the city was located at the eastern side of Mount Etna in Sicily. After a 130-foot tsunami hit, it collapsed into the Mediterranean Sea. That's just a theory, though. There are some researchers who don't believe that the city fell victim to a natural disaster. Others believe that when the glaciers melted after the Ice Age, the sea levels rose to the point where people had to move away to keep from drowning. Also, they had no access to fresh water any longer. Sadly, we may never know what happened to this ancient city. There are several theories about what happened to it, but there has yet to be any proof to prove any of them. Subscribe for more!